All right, how about a little trivia for you on a Friday? What are the first ever R-rated films available for streaming on Disney Plus? The answer, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool and Deadpool 2, plus Reynolds' good friend Hugh Jackman's Logan. Well, when he found this out, Reynolds and his customary dry wit had the perfect comeback to this ratings news, suggesting some other Disney films may also need that R rating, including Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for, quote, breaking and entering, borderline polyandry, and pretty sure those diamonds aren't cruelty-free. He also cited Old Yeller because it caused Reynolds to, quote, ugly cry in addition to the straight-up murder of Old Yeller, Rochelle. And then he didn't stop there. He went on to Lion King. He said, it's full of fratricide, mauling, very possibly half-sibling loving, or at least kissing cousins. And then when it came to Bambi, he said that should get the rating for cold, the cold-blooded killing of an innocent dear mom that will cause lifelong trauma. <laughs> Oh, Ryan Reynolds, bless, bless your heart. <laughs> Handsome and funny, that Ryan Reynolds. He is a talented man. Oh. Big fan, big fan of the So, so am I. I got to tell you, Dave, we're in great company here because yeah. about 45 years ago, October 11th, 1976, you were born. October 14th, 1976, three days later, I was born. October 23rd, 1976, Ryan Reynolds was born. All within 12 days. So I don't think that means... Well, and you, know and you see the common thread. Yes, yeah. And 200, be 200 years before that, our country was born. Bicentennial baby here. So are you. So is Ryan. So, so the common thread between the three of us is we can't see. That's really all we have in common I'm with so Ryan. Blind. Ryan. I'm just going to finish the show like this. You all can see me without the mask. Um, I can't see the prompter. I hope I'm not closing the show here. But yeah, it feels Literally like the only thing we have in common with Ryan Reynolds. He's a talented guy. Um, I, you know, it's funny when you rethink some of these Disney movies to his point, Rochelle. I mean, my 16-year-old daughter, yeah. she can't stand to watch Little Mermaid because, quite frankly, she's like, wait a minute. She's going to give up her voice her voice for a man, and so she refuses to watch the movie, Should be which art. actually sounds like a pretty good point. I was just. I mean, gonna... She sounds like she has a good a good head on her shoulders there. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, like I, I was trying to I was trying to think of all the different movies my daughter could watch that didn't have like a di like a Disney parent die in one of the movies. I was like Dumbo, no. Okay, I was like, would you go through the list? There's only very few. I think maybe Brave is one of the few where all the parents make it out in one piece. But, you know, obviously this is great promotion for, for the entire line of Deadpool movies. So <laughs> smart thinking and great commentary as well. And it's he obviously understands why they're R-rated. The language is, well, it's pretty extreme. But they are terrific movies. Big fan. And the, and the, and the violence, too. It's, it's, it's a lot, for sure.